to week 14 of these movement therapy sessions. My name is Brenda. Today we're going to focus a lot on the upper body and releasing the tension in the arms and the shoulders and the neck. When we work with um, the fascial tissue, we are focusing a lot on our autonomic nervous system. So we're focusing a lot on the sympathetic breathing system or sympathetic nervous system, which is your flight or fight response and the parasympathetic breathing system, which is our rest and digest. What we want to try and do is focus on bringing ourselves back into a parasympathetic breathing system. So there's often a reason that we need that um, flight or fight response, that stress breathing pattern. Then we're using our secondary respiratory muscles in the neck and the shoulders, and obviously breathing into the chest. When we bring ourselves back into that parasympathetic nervous system, we're focusing a lot on diaphragmatic breathing and bringing us up um, out of that flight or fight response into that rest and digest state. So we're working on the autonomic nervous system as a whole, and we want to try and release tension so we can focus on bringing ourselves into a calmer state. With the use of a foam roller, and the reflex ball and a resistance band. As I said, we're gonna focus a lot on the upper body today and releasing a lot of tension in the arms and the neck and the shoulders. Let's come up to standing and you're going to release the feet with a reflex ball. Apart from the arm lines, all the lines of the body start in the feet. So we want to release all the fascial tissue around that area and you want to work on a nice slow release so we really plump up and stretch that fascia tissue talking about plumping up and stretching the fascia tissue make sure you have some water handy so we can replenish um, as we as we move the lymph around the body we want to hydrate the body and plump everything up nice release all the way from the big toe to the heel and move the ball over to the lateral side of the foot bring the ball under the padding of the foot so between the toes and the ball of the foot and i want you just to hug the ball with the toes so move it from side to side the ball and you're hugging the ball with the toes you're wrapping the toes around the ball and let's take the other foot onto the ball and roll from the big toe all the way to the heel move the ball along so All the way to the lateral side of the foot move right over the heel and into the arch of the foot as well bring the ball under the ball of the foot and just moving the ball a little bit from side to side wrap the toes over the ball and move it slightly back while you're standing on that other foot try not to bunch up the toes try and spread them out You can put the ball to the side. Now we're going to bring the right arm behind the back and wrap the hand around the waist as far around as you can. Take your left hand and look over your left shoulder. Wrap the hand around the back of the neck and slide the fingers down to the sternum and look over the right shoulder. Again, look over the left shoulder 
and wrap the hand and slide it down. Bring the hand to the sternum, look over the right shoulder. Keep going. Bring the hand around the back of the neck and twist. And again. Twist it up and around. Bring the fingers right around to the left side of the neck and stretch that neck. Do two more. And one more. Good. From there, keep that right hand working. I want you to stand up nice and tall. You're going to use the left hand directly onto the skin if you can. Work over the t-shirt if you need to, but if you can bring your hand right onto the skin, bring the fingertips right to the shoulder, and I want you to reach the arm out at shoulder height, then take it down. You're still moving the hand. Now bring the shoulder right, the arm right up above the shoulder, so lengthen it, then bring it to shoulder height, then bring it down. And all this time, bring it up, move it up, and down through different ranges. Push down. Keep that work directly onto the skin. You bring your hand on, onto the skin under the t-shirt and slide. So you're moving in what's called a two-directional pull, tensegrity, pulling the hand back and you're stretching up that arm line. Keep going, move the hand down. Bring it up to shoulder height. Reach it higher than the shoulder. Get that movement and feel the stretch in different areas over the front of the chest as well. Keep going. Move it around and take it back and stretch. Activate that, those rhomboid muscles on either side of the spine. Well, it'll be on the right side for now. And when we change it over to the left side, Let's shake that arm out. Now you're going to do what's called a donkey pike. I want you to keep working on the right hand and the right arm. Squeeze the right hand with the left hand and you're going to twist the right arm. Work around the wrist so you're releasing that fascial tissue up and over that arm. Squeeze and twist, squeeze and twist. Squeeze and twist. Work over the elbow a little bit more. So if you say now on the elbow. And then continue working right up over the triceps and biceps towards that shoulder. Good. Move right up and over that shoulder. Spread the fingers out and work right into that shoulder and a little bit into the trapezius where the neck meets the shoulder and you can move a little bit around. Take the heel of the hand into the pectoral muscles. Fingers over that shoulder and move around here. Let's shake it out. We're going to start working on the left side. So wrap that arm, use the right hand to help you wrap that hand around the waist and the arm around the back. Look over the right shoulder, wrap your right hand around the, the left side of your neck and the fingers should be pointing to the right shoulder. And twist as you look over that left shoulder. Look back over the right shoulder, wrap the hand around and twist again. Keep going. As you look over your right shoulder, take a nice deep breath in and breathe out. Good, keep going. And breathe out. Let's do another two. Good. Taking that left arm and the right hand onto the pectoral muscles. 
pulling away from the arm to the sternum as you stretch that arm back. Now work directly onto the skin. Bring the fingers right up to the shoulder. Slide the fingers underneath the clavicle. Bring them to the sternum. Move them underneath the armpit and create that pin signature. Pulling and stretching over the arm. Getting a nice stretch into those pectoral muscles. Good. We're focusing on that posture, really opening up across the chest. Keep moving the hand down, up to shoulder height, and higher than the shoulder. And keep going. Pull back and pull down. Do another two. Take the arm up. And another one. Good. And just shake that arm up. Let's take the right hand, the right hand, and squeeze the left hand in that right hand. Twist the left arm as you move around. Work right over that thumb. Move over the wrist, squeeze and twist, squeeze and twist. Work nice and slowly, moving up towards the elbow. Focus on the elbow for a few seconds and continue moving up. Over those biceps and triceps. Move right up and over the shoulder now. Keep twisting that arm, opening it up. Bring the fingers over the shoulder blade and move around that whole area. Work right up into the trapezius and use those fingers to release the trapezius. Good. And just take the fingers and push down. And now flexing the wrist, we'll pull the heel of the hand, we'll push the heel of the hand away and stretch the front of the wrist. Good. And do the same thing to the other side. Push back and down. Let's circle the arms around the back, link the fingers together and look over the shoulders. And just release the arms. Give the shoulders a nice big roll and shake the hands up. Good. From there, you're going to stand at the back of your mat. I want you to take a nice deep breath in. Bring the elbows and the shoulders back and circle the chin down to the chest. Make sure you're squeezing the glutes. Roll down through your spine. Stay nice and tight. And then just bounce there. Walk onto your hands and drop down onto your knees. Let's take the foam roller onto the front side of your mat. Bring your other hand, your fingertips pointing towards the roller. Your thumb is now resting on the roller. You're going to bend your furthest arm and roll out your supporting arm. Bend the supporting arm and now roll from the thumb along the forearm to the elbow. Drop that shoulder down. Focusing on that front arm line stretch. You're going to keep rolling. Push the shoulder down and roll out. Push away from that supporting arm. Do another two. And another one. Good. From there, I want you to keep using the same arm. 
this so you don't rotate around push the rotor down now this arm the supporting hand faces oh, towards the center of the mat and you're going to bring the same arm this time we're releasing the back arm line so from the middle finger along the forearm to the elbow and you want to look underneath that armpit look up to the ceiling get a nice stretch releasing the back arm line now reach underneath that shoulder keep going three more two more Breathe in and last one and release good from there still using the same arm bring the roller perpendicular on the mat and bring the elbow onto the roller support your head in the hand and line the fingers up with the neck stack your knees to the diagonal and let's roll over the triceps hand onto the hip onto the mat or onto the roller take a nice deep breath in and lengthen that lateral side as well breathe out pull the belly button into the spine and really tuck there breathe in lengthen that lateral side good breathe out tuck and round into the belly use the head so you can really focus on that contraction lengthen up look up and breathe out and tuck good keep going nice deep breath in lengthen 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 breathe out tuck and round Good. breathing in opening up around the diaphragm there breathe into the space you're creating breathe out and come up let's do another two nice deep breath in really open up breathe into that space breathe out and release let's do one more nice deep breath in and open up lengthen up release the elbow onto the mat and let's hold it in this position you're going to bring the roller underneath the armpit and you're going to bring the head into the hands keep the knees stacked to the diagonal now we're releasing and opening up across the chest releasing that shoulder blade on the roller and rock forward don't let this elbow rest on the mat get the movement back when your top elbow comes forward Breathe in. It might take your breath away. There's quite a lot of tension in this part of the shoulder. So focus on that breathing. Good. Nice deep breath in. Open up. Breathe out and rock forward. Keep going. Nice deep breath in. Open up. And breathe out. Do another three. Nice deep breath in. Open up. And breathe out. Two more. And breathe out. And the last one. You're going to hold it halfway. So open up into this position. Nice deep breath into that position. Adjust the roll if you need to. And bring your feet flat. Still focusing on this side of the uh, on this arm on this side of the shoulder on focusing on this shoulder blade massage up and over that shoulder blade all the way down if it is very sore then open up and bring both shoulder blades onto the roller so you're not putting too much weight into the one side give us a very nice release in this shoulder and the rotator cuff all this tension in that upper body good do one more and breathe out from here we're going to bring the neck onto the roller and you're going to just nod the head from side to side so focusing on the 
um, the base of the skull and along that occipit ridge, massaging along and releasing that tension around this area. Keep the hands on either side of the roller and open up across the chest, dropping the shoulders into the mat. Another two, nice deep breath in to one side and breathe out to the other side. Rock yourself up into a seated position. We're going to continue on the shoulder blades. This time, both shoulders on the roller. Head into the hands and roll nice and slowly. Roll quite low down, just to the base of those shoulder blades. And again, nice deep breath in. As you go out and breathe out. So we're focusing on breathing through the nose. A nice deep diaphragmatic breath. And breathe out. Keep going. And breathe out. Two more. Nice deep breath in. Take it up. And breathe out. And the last one. And breathe out. Bring the roller, bring the tailbone onto the roller, bring the roller right to the base of the shoulder blades into an arch and a tuck. So we're focusing on opening up into that arch. Imagine someone's pulling the belly button up with a piece of um, fishing gut. So opening up there, breathe out, push the lower back down into the mat and breathe out. Breathe in, open up from the tailbone and open up across the chest. Breathe in again to that space you're creating. Breathe out and come down. Keep going, nice deep breath in. Open, open, open and breathe out. And tuck, focus on a nice inhalation for four counts. And push down into the mat. Breathe out for four. Keep going, nice deep breath in. Hold it in this open position and just bounce the chest. Now as you breathe out, push the lower back down again into the mat and tuck. And again, arch into the back. Head will follow, opening up slightly. Make sure the weight of the head is resting in the hands. Bounce the chest up and down. Take a nice exhalation there. Keep going. Nice deep breath in. Arch and the head will open up. Bounce the chest up and down. Breathe out. Push down. And again, nice deep breath in and open and bounce and breathe out. Good. Hug the knees into the chest and let's position the roller onto the other side. We're just going to focus on rever reversing the releases. Starting off with the other shoulder blade. So you're going to bring the other shoulder blade onto the roller and hug the head with the arms, the elbows are in or open up slightly. If it is very sore, bring both shoulder blades onto the roller. Nice and slowly move right from the top of the shoulder to the base of the shoulder blade. One more, take it down and up again. So bringing your knees to the diagonal, bringing your elbow onto the roller, Supporting your head in your hand and your fingers are lined up with the neck. So you're opening up across the front of that shoulder. Breathe in and lengthen out. Breathe out. Tuck. 
and round. Breathe in. Nice extension through the lateral side. And over the triceps, breathe out. Good. Breathe in and lengthen up. And breathe out and tuck. Keep going. Nice deep breath in. And breathe out. The elbow does have a tendency to come forward. Keep adjusting the elbow so it's in line with the body and the shoulder. Breathe in, lengthen up. Breathe out, tuck the chin, round the spine and pull in. Let's do another two. Nice deep breath in. Open up and lengthen. Breathe out. Tuck in love. Finish off in that lengthened position. Breathe in. Release the elbow onto the mat and adjust the roller underneath the armpit. Keep the head in the hands and now breathing in, rock the upper body to the ceiling, open up, breathe in, keep the elbow free from the mat at the bottom and breathe out and rock forward. Good, nice deep breath in, open up. It doesn't have to be a big movement. If there is a lot of tension in this area, just focus a lot on your breathing and make the movement smaller. Breathe out, coming forward. Breathe in. Open up. And breathe out and rock forward. Keep going. Let's do another two. Nice deep breath in. Open up. And breathe out. And another one. Nice deep breath in. And breathe out. Last one. Breathing in. And breathe out. So we're still focusing on that same arm. We're going to bring the roller to the front of the mat. And you're going to bring the supporting hand higher than the roller and look through the roller. So the fingers are pointing inwards, knife edge of the hand to that back arm line and look up to the ceiling underneath that supporting arm. Breathe out as you come back, breathe in and breathe out. three and breathe out two more and breathe out and the last one and breathe out good same arm just rotate and bring the thumb onto the roller supporting hand again roller fingers are pointing towards the roller not away from the roller and massage out Drop the shoulder and roll along that front arm line. Roll out and bring the roller back. And last one. Bring the roller onto the mat so it's perpendicular. Bring the thumbs over the front of the roller and bring the shoulders over the roller, just stretching and rocking forward and back. A little bit more stretch into the arms and releasing the thumbs. Let's bring the roller now just in front of the knees, elbows in front, and we're going to release the front of the legs over those quadriceps, into those hip flexors, roll right upward. Relax the feet on the mat so you can put a little bit more weight. Go over the knees if you can. 
Keep that fascial tissue around the knees and that feet. Walk the elbows forward and back. And all the way back, take the elbows, walk the elbows along the mat if you need to. And all the way back again. Bring the hands just underneath the shoulders and pull back onto your hands and knees. We can release the roller. You're going to now come onto the elbow or onto the knees and you're going to take the, the resistance band into both hands. So if you take the right foot up and face the right side in a lunge position and you're going to bring the hands onto the into the band and you're going to push. At the same time as you're pushing down, I want you to lunge and I want you to open up across the chest. So activate those muscles in the back, pulling them down and pulling the shoulder blades together. So don't let the shoulders come up. You want to drop the shoulders as you pull them back with those roll blades. Lunge forward and push the top hand up and push the bottom hand down. So you're lifting up and opening up. Continue moving into your lunge. Nice big movement there. Keep going. And six. And five. Four. Three more. Two more. And the last one. Good. Still working in the lunge position. You're just going to rotate your foot so that you are opening up more into the hip. Your right thumb is hooked around the row, uh, the band and your left arm is in a nice pull back position. So we end that bow and arrow movement. You're going to extend the right arm and pull the left elbow back. Continue moving into your lunge. So give you a nice stretch along that inner thigh, pulling back as well as squeezing those shoulder blades together at the back. Don't let the shoulders come up. Make sure you're dropping the shoulders and pulling them together at the back. Opening up across the chest. Pull and pull. Keep going. Pull. Pull. Keep going. Another 10. And nine. And eight. Seven. For that extended arm, pull it slightly back so it will also activate those rhomboids at the back and pull them down. Pull. Three, two, and one. Good. From there, we're coming into the center. Bring the hands, palms facing up, and the open up the thumbs so the resistance band is around the hands and the thumbs are free. We're now going to move back, hinging from the knees. So make sure you're not arching to the back. You want to squeeze the glutes and lengthen from the knees out. You are rotating, so using your rotator cuffs, you are opening up again across the chest and pulling the shoulder blades together at the back. Open up, lean into it. Keep going, 10 more. Breathe in, breathe out. Nine. And six and five, four more and three, two more and 
and the last one. Good. Going over to the other side, we'll start off in that bow and arrow move. So you can point the toes back. Let's have a quick drink of water. Going into that bow and arrow motion. So you're going to hold the band with your left hand if you're using the same arm as me. And that right and the, the right hand is holding and the thumb on the left hand is inside the resistance band. Let's lunge and pull back, extending and pulling that left arm over, back. Squeeze those shoulder blades together at the back. Keep going. We're going to do another 10. 10 and 9 and 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Try not to let those shoulders come up. Three, two, and one. Good, lovely. Rotate so that that foot is pointing away and you are moving into that front leg. Same arm at, as a, the lifted leg. Other hand, you can bring the, band, the thumbs inside the band now. And as you lunge forward, try and take so don't have the foot too close, so you're overextending the knee. Try to take that foot further away. And a nice deep lunge, feeling that stretch into the front of that back leg. Push the top arm, the top hand up. Pull, push the bottom hand down. And at the same time, you're squeezing your shoulder blades together at the back. We're doing another 10. 10. And 9. And 8. Seven, six, five, four more, breathing in and out, two, and finish off with the last one, bring the knees side by side, you're now going to position the hands as we had them into those rotator cuff movements onto the mat. Bring the elbows together and we're going to keep the hips and the knees in line. You're going to open up the hands as far as possible, but you're also going to keep the elbows together and try not to lift the hands too much off the mat. You're going to bounce the hands out. You're going to breathe out and tuck. Now as you breathe in, push the hands apart and bounce them out. Breathe out, tuck and round. Breathe in, bounce the hands apart. Good, keep going. Breathe out and tuck. Let's bounce out for a count of four, three, two, one. Breathe out and tuck. Breathe in, bounce, two, three, four. Breathe out and tuck. And a nice deep breath in, bounce, two, three, four, breathe out and tuck. Keep going, another two, nice deep breath in, bounce, two, three, four, breathe out and tuck. The last one, bounce, two, three, four, breathe out and tuck. Release your resistance band, bring your hands slightly ahead of the shoulders. Curl your toes under. You're pushing up into a down dog position. So you're going to lengthen back and bounce your chest towards your legs, trying to get the heels down into the mat. I want you to do this four times. Then we're going to bend the knees and bounce back. Two, three, four. Now you're going to squeeze the glutes, tuck under, fire yourself forward into a plank position and hold that plank position. And then you're going to push back again. Four, three, two, one. Bend the knees. Now you've got two choices here. You can either bounce, bounce the bum back, bounce the knees, or we can bounce off the mat for four. So find your choice. 
your option and then let's go for it for four and three two and one from here find yourself forward into your plank position and hold it there focus on breathing for four counts and hold it there let's push back into our down dog and bounce for two three four bend the knees bounce the knees push the bum back or lift for four three two and one come forward fire yourself forward into that plank position get comfortable and breathe again going back into that down dog position for four three two one bend the knees and your choice here to lift or bounce for two four find yourself into that plank position and hold that plank position focus on the breathing let's again come back into our down dog for four three two one bend the knees choose your option and bounce for two three and four get busy fire yourself forward and going into the last one hold it there into that plank position and push back into down dog bounce two three four bend your knees and let's lift or bounce for two three and four find yourself into plank and hold it there focus on your breathing lower yourself down onto the mat bring your feet into your hands and lifting yourself up open up across the chest now what you're going to do is just focus on your breathing the only thing that's lifting up your mat, lifting you off your mat, is your deep diaphragmatic breathing. Breathe in for four counts and breathe out. Do another one. Nice deep breath in and breathe out. Release. Bring the hands under the shoulders. Tuck the chin. Push back into child's pose and just have a nice stretch there. Come up onto the hands and knees and we're going to come into a seated position now. Have a quick drink of water. Moving back into the upper body, I want you to focus on those rotations, but you're going to bring the right foot onto the left inner thigh. If you are not comfortable in this position, bring the right foot in front of the left leg. Try stay in that position, in that um, seated position. Bring that left, that right foot up and really open up. We're going to bring the elbows in line with the shoulders and I just want you to pulse those elbows together at the back for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1. From there you're going to focus on bringing the left elbow to the right side. So you're lifting you should have more rotation in the right side so you're getting more of a stretch when you pull the left elbow we're just going to bounce it focus on that forward movement with the left elbow and bounce for two three four five six seven eight nine and ten good bring the right hand onto that right knee and reach your left arm up and over for ten nine eight seven six five four three two 
one, hold it there, bring the right hand onto the left wrist and pull. So you're not only feeling lateral, but you'll feel a little bit into those back oblique muscles there. Let's come back. We're going to do the same thing again. So we're rotating towards the, the right knee. Twist. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right hand onto the right knee and bounce the left arm up and over for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Grab hold of the wrist, pull it into that stretch. And another two sets. Let's twist. Squeezing the shoulder blades together at the, at the back before you start. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hand onto the knee. Reach the arm up and over for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. One, hold it, reach and lengthen. Good, last set. Let's rotate. 10, 7, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. Reach up and over, bounce. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then reach and pull into that lateral stretch. Good. Now you might have a little bit of tension in that left shoulder or that levator scapula. Just bring the elbow, uh, bring the hand, the right hand onto the left wrist and give that neck a nice stretch. Bounce the right ear to the shoulder, increase the stretch in the left side of the neck. I want you to bring that arm back up and hold onto the wrist. Now I want you to circle the upper body. So you are, if you look from the side, that right foot is up on the left or it's in front. You're going to pull away from the right foot and circle around. Circle that upper body around. Circle. Circle back. So you're pushing back like someone's punching you in the belly. Tuck. Do another four. And three. And two. And one. Good. And release it. Let's change legs. Maybe just extend the legs and shape them up. Let's have a quick drink of water. And now the left foot is going to go up. So you've got the two choices, bringing the left foot in front, or you can bring it and wrap it over the right inner thigh. Elbows up, and the, left, uh, the right elbow is going to go towards the left knee. So yeah, the left foot is up, and you're going to twist for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Take hold of that right wrist. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again, open up. Or maybe hold it in that stretch for a second or two longer. And release. Let's rotate again for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Reach up and lengthen. Let's bounce for two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can keep the hand on the wrist. Nine, ten. Hold it and lengthen out. Another two sets. Elbows together at the back. Really open up across the chest. And now from the shoulder, twist. Two. So the elbows are just along for the right. You're keeping those shoulder blades together at the back and then rotating right from that shoulder. And let's bounce that right arm up and over. 
Take the hand onto the wrist if you want to. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Really increase that stretch. And lastly, squeeze the shoulder blades together right from the shoulder. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can reach up and lengthen this pulse it for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's just give that latest scap a little bit of a stretch. Grab hold of the right wrist with the left hand and bounce that ear to the left shoulder. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Keep going for three, two, and one. Release and extend the legs to shake them out. Get a nice deep breath in and throw yourself forward. Bounce yourself. Take a nice deep breath in, uncurl through the spine, and the shoulders up and back. Let's come back onto the hands and knees, and just finishing off in a short plank position. I want you to breathe in, arch, and again, pull the shoulder blades together. You're going to breathe out, tuck and round, you're going to lift up off the knees, and you're going to pulse the knees out and in, so you're going to if you need to curl the toes under but if you can stay on the front of the feet and you're going to bounce the knees out for two three four five six seven eight nine and ten drop down onto the knees breathe in again to your arch before you continue let's take the resistance band and bring it just above the knee but it's optional you don't need to use that resistance band Bring the hands now back under the shoulders and take a nice deep breath in. Open up into your arch. Breathe in. Breathe out. Tuck and round the spine. Lift the knees and bounce for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Drop down. Two more sets. Nice deep breath in. Open up on the tailbone. Look ahead and up. Breathe out, tuck and round. Lift the knees and bounce. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Drop the knees. Two more sets. Breathe in. Breathe out, tuck and round. This time I want you to keep the knees slightly closer to the mat and round that spine for ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one, release. Last set. A nice deep breath in and arch. Breathe out, tuck and round. Lift the knees and bounce. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Release into a seated position and just remove the band. Coming back onto your front, you're going to relax the forehead onto the hands and you're going to open up the feet and I want you just to wiggle the hips from side to side, loosening up the spine into the shoulders and into the neck. Wiggle, 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 get that movement up the spine, get the fluid moving through those joints, loosen everything up. And bring the hands underneath the shoulders, tuck in round. We're coming back into that seated position. Let's take the left foot back, either in front or back onto the right inner thigh. And we're going to take that right arm up and over. So we just, we missed out on that rotational move, that spiral move into the body. So we're going to circle and circle, pull back and round. So if you look from this side, from the left foot, I want you to pull back and circle, and circle, and circle, and circle. Pull back, stretching into that 
lateral and left back, rib cage. Keep going, four, and three, and two, and one. Good, into that seated position. Let's have one last drink of water. deep breath in. Let's bring the hand onto the ear and just have a nice stretch into the neck. Bounce a few times and again breathe in over to the other side and just bounce a few times. Two, three, four. Swing the arms around the body. Rest that right hand on the left knee. Rotate, wrap the hand around the waist again, that left hand around the right side. And let's do the other side, swing it around. Hopefully you're getting a nice rotation there. And back to center, just circle the shoulders up and back. One last deep breath in. And breathe out. Well done, and thank you for joining me. 